What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my weekly recap for Star Wars The Bad Batch. So for this review, it's going to be Season 1, Episode 7, Battle Scars. So in this particular episode, we have an update on the hooded figure we saw from last week's episode, or the episode with the Martez sisters. So as it turns out, um, they the sisters told Captain Rex about The Bad Batch, and he turns up to catch up with what they're doing. And it ties together um, a, a thing that's been ha happened at least in the last episode, but um, ties an event from the Clone Wars in that um, due to some of the recent uh, fighting that's been going on, um, Wrecker's inhibitor chip was reactivated and has been giving him headaches. Um, and I guess it inadvertently because Order 66 for some reason was still active I guess or um, I guess made its way into his chip um, <clears throat> caused him to turn on the rest of the Bad Batch so this episode essentially turns or um, well essentially it's a two-fold running story where because or Captain Rex is able to figure out that the inhibitor chip is gonna be a problem and has to have it taken out of the entire Bad Batch <clears throat> even though there's even though the rest of the group's chip is deactivated it's still a risk to keep it there so they start with Rucker because he's the immediate threat and they um, proceed with the rest of the group so essentially because um, Rex has the knowledge of how to get it out they are able to do it successfully even though it is a high risk of doing so but overall a good episode in that we that the or it is now a good for the um, Bad Batch in that they're now free of their inhibitor chips and any sort of or um, free of any final control the Empire could have on them even if it is by accident that the inhibitor chips get re-enabled so they can now continue to a um, little bit more easily proceed with trying to figure out how they want to set up their place in the new universe within the Empire or even outside they're already outside of the Empire so with the rule of the Empire so uh, we have Rex departing by the end of the episode, so I have a feeling that we're going to have more going on with between them, or they're going to somehow t um, rejoin Rex and the Rebellion, or set up their own faction of special insurgents, or maybe even tie into um, Rogue One, or um, the, <clears throat> the Ro Rebels with on Yavin 4, or something like that, just as a means of um being that initial set of um characters and um members of the rebellion that set it up to um allow them to have those special tactics they need to undermine the empire especially since the bad batch knows the empire's tactics and can um should ideally be able to um set up some sort of basis in order to um get through the empire and perform their tasks without getting noticed as easily and it ultimately undermine the Empire itself. So I actually can't wait to see how they proceed going forward. Um, I actually don't mind the missions that they're going on or that they've been going on the past few episodes, but I'm kind of also hoping that those tie into that transition or we learn that the lady that's been giving them the missions um, has been working for a different cell or, or Rex knows all about it. so. Um, they ultimately figure out that in, that she was doing all of that to build their trust or build the trust in them and have them realize that um, the Empire is not all that, even, that she wants to ensure that she can trust the clones and um, and uh, recruit them to the cause and that they're not going to turn on her or they're not agents of the Empire or anything like that. So uh, we'll see how the rest of it goes, but overall, a, a pretty good episode in this case, just to round out the whole inhibitor chip situation. And hopefully, don't we don't really have to touch on that too many more times, just because we now, now that Order sixty six has happened and that is all done, um, and now that their chips are out, there doesn't really need to be anything else more to do aside from maybe converting other clones or um, just making it a. a a standardized procedure or figuring out how to reverse engineer the process so that um, they can do it to other clone troopers who might 
have the chip and want it out or anything like that. So that's all there is for this particular episode. Um, by the close of it, we see that the uh, scavengers on the planet that they're on to get the chip out of the group um, finds out that they're there and they're going to tell the Empire. So um, the sniper guy, I have a feeling, is going to show up or maybe the Empire is going to show up in full force or something like that. Or even Tarkin is going to do something um, unexpected to go after the clones. But um, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm kind of hoping they don't not to, that I want less of it, but it's, I don't want too much of, you know, the Empire stu stuff as far as going after them. But uh, one of those things where they miss them in the nick of time just because there are obvious, there will be obvious holes in the Empire that uh, maybe we've seen and they bring out the origin story here or just because the Bad Batch being the group that they are, are able to get around the Empire's uh, forces because they know the tactics already. Um, and then they bring out various other things for the group to do as far as making their way in the galaxy or even maybe going, not necessarily going back to Camino, but I don't know, just because I don't, I'm just hoping that it's not some, or I guess it's maybe new and different ways of going against the Empire or staying away from them or, um, I'm not sure exactly, but somehow tying it more towards the rebel side of things and... I guess maybe that's what I'm going for is to um, introduce more of how they join the rebels and make them join the rebels and then in the process show how they get around the Empire's tactics and use that as a means to train new other rebels as far as um, guerrilla warfare and tactics or maybe becoming a part of Saw Gerrera's group and um, showing more about that, about how they um, help Saw to become the the group they are and then ultimately leading to Saw and his faction's departure from the rest of the rebellion and tying that directly into uh, Rogue One or something along those lines. So that's all there is for this particular episode. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, feedback of your own stuff I missed, then you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show and all of that good stuff. And of course, yes, the, for me, at the end of the episode, the mask that the scavengers wore looked a lot like the mask of um, Darth Revan from Knights of the Old Republic. So a little bit of a connection in my mind there is not quite the same. And I did just replay the game, so it stood out a little bit more. But um, that also struck me when, I, when they showed the close-up of the mask there. But um, that's neither here nor there. But uh, thanks for tuning into this particular episode. And until next time.